Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and this evening I am here to do a hydrangea plant pot. It's one of my, um, <laughs> another one of my amazing ideas so we'll see how this one goes. For the keen gardener in you all, so anybody who likes gardening, so we've got Father's Day coming up soon so you never know, it might be a really good idea for Father's Day or for anyone who appreciates gardening and we have a lot of gardens around here because we live in the middle of Buckinghamshire and there's plenty of gardens so gardening cakes very popular so you know me there's going to be lots of shortcuts and things for you to get um, involved with so hopefully it should be a fairly nice straightforward cake now as ever I'm not here on my own I have Kelly with me this evening say hello Kelly <laughs> Hi! She just took a, surf, a slip of water just as I said that to her. <laughs> That's put you off, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, Kelly's here with me this evening. So if you do have any comments or you'd like to ask any questions, then do please let her know and she will answer and ask me those questions. Um, but we're going to basically build a plant pot cake tonight. So I've got my cake ready. Um, we're going to carve it. We're going to cover it in ganache. We're going to um, build a hydrangea foundation. We're going to make some hydrangeas, we're going to paint the pot, we're going to put some butterflies on it, it's going to be everything. So we're going to put lots and lots of things on there tonight, so there's a lot going on. So thank you very much for joining me, for you, most of you that um, see me every Tuesday night at half past six. This is my usual slot, let me take this down now before I forget, because I just jabber away and forget. Happy May the Happy 4th. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you and all that. <laughs> So what it is, Kelly, Kelly's the expert on this. So I've got my Star Wars cake out tonight, which is actually one of those um, reveal cakes, you know, around the back. It's a wedding cake dummy, actually. I've had it quite a period of time. Anyway, we've got our Star Wars cake out tonight, just, just to commemorate the day more than anything else. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so coming up, um, not a week today actually we've got Kelly's colour theory class so if anybody's interested in joining Kelly's colour theory class um, I'm just going to put the little um, well Kelly's going to put the link up but that's where you need to go to book Kelly's colour theory class and it's all about colour so if you want to learn um, the theory of colour with the colour wheel or you're interested in learning about how to put your colours together to make really lovely cakes or how to adjust your painting colours then that is the class for you and it's 750 it's not going to be taught by me, it's going to be taught by Kelly, who is my daughter, she's a clever girl, uh, <laughs> she's <laughs> waving at me now, um, and she is going to be explaining all about colour theory, she is amazing at colour theory, so if you are interested in joining the course, it's 7.50, now it's on a Monday evening, but we are going to be finished in time for you all to watch Sugar and Crumbs, so we'll be starting at 6.30, finishing at 8, so if anybody would like to join it, the link is on, you can go to the website, Tracy Man Cake School, and book it on there or Kelly has put a link up there as well so there you go so if you're interested in that that's what we're going to be doing soon right we've got a lot to get through I've got a lot of wires running everywhere because in my um, moment of organization I actually forgot to plug the iPad in so <laughs> when things keep moving around this evening uh, you are going to be seeing a few wires I do apologize but um, it is what it is and we're plugged in and we're ready to go by the time I finished it will probably be fully charged but there we go Right, let's have a look at what we're doing. Let me get the cake over so you can see what is happening. Let's go to this camera here. So we're gonna have a go at making a plant pot tonight. Let me just move things around like so. So this is the cake that we're gonna be using. And here I have got, that's a five inch cake and two six inch round cakes. Now what I did earlier today was I actually did stack them together with some buttercream so that they're stable. Um, otherwise I'd have them all sliding about all over the place. I don't need anything else working against me. So that's what I've done in advance. And I'm just going to undo this cling film with this actually clever idea I just suddenly thought of that will catch my crumbs on here, Kelly, rather than me make a mess everywhere. Although I will end up making a mess and I will keep that on there. So we're going to carve it first. Well, if it's going in, cling film easily put into my mouth. Easily go into your direction, Kelly. There we go. We'll do it like that. Okay, so we're going to carve this first. I think we might put it up on a turntable as well, actually, because I quite like a turntable in view as well. There we go. So I'm just going to take my sharp knife. I'm going to try and do it this way around. It's a little bit backwards for me because it's on the other side, but you'll be able to see it better. So that's all that matters. So round we go. And I'm just going to level this up a bit. So I'm going to make a pot shape. So I'm just going to come round very carefully and go like that and the cling film's catching I knew it would 
thought we were doing a Star Wars and cake. No, we're not doing a Star Wars cake tonight. <laughs> I should have done really, but no, I think I draw the line there today. We're doing flowers. We're, we're going along this gardening theme and we're, we're thinking about some sort of potential ideas for people who like gardening. Maybe a Father's Day cake, possibly, or anyone who likes gardening. I know we've been doing lots of flowers and of course I'm going to be doing a little bit of painting later on because I can't help myself. Um, so that will be coming up as well. So lots to do tonight. As with cake, there's always lots and lots of things to do. So we're getting a rough shape now. I'm going to have to actually go on the other side to see what I'm doing because it's backwards to me. <laughs> I'm cutting over the top of everything. So we're going to go around this way for a second. So you might not be able to see everything because my camera's on the left. But you'll see it coming round. There you go. You can see it all starting to even up now. let's come back to the other side i don't want to make a mistake carving it on this side when it this um is cake by sweet success so i do really like their cake and it's quite soft you can see my knife is just kind of gliding through it and believe you me my knives are not that sharp are they kelly no. so <laughs> uh so yeah it's um it's a nice soft cake and you can get a nice shape just by literally carving straight down the side of it like so. There we go, I think we're near enough there actually. Let's just double check, Let's spin it around. I'm just gonna lift that off for a second, pop that there, and then, oh, I mean, it's not too bad a clear up job, is it? <laughs> Cleaner than normal. Cleaner than normal, pass it over to you, Kelly. Right, let me get rid of that as well. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? Right, let's have another little look at this. I'm just going to sit down so I can see if I'm at the right shape. Tiny bit more trimming to go. But not bad, if I say so myself. So I've got a little board on the top, that's a little five inch cake there, and then two six inch round cakes, which I'm carving down to get into a plant pot shape. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, okay? then we're going to cover it in white chocolate ganache and we're going to hope <laughs> we are going to hope that the ganache that I just overheated in the microwave a minute ago <laughs> will that's, now, cool down. <laughs> that's now cooled down and put it in the fridge I managed to microwave it to within an inch of its life by forgetting it was there um, so yeah let's hope <laughs> it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine there we go that'll do for the moment Cal We'll put that there. Come on, it's fine, it's cold in here. Yeah, it's cold, it'll be fine. Right, there we go. I'm going to try and remain tidy here. Get the old plastic side scraper out so I can remain more tidy than usual. Every time you go, plastic side scraper, I'm like, I know. Okay. <laughs> plastic side scraper, the best tool you'll ever have. Right, okay, let's have a go, shall we? Let's see if my ganache has come back to life. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I put it in the microwave and then didn't realise that it was, um, we, were we were chatting and then I suddenly said, oh, the ganache. Anyway, <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is we're going to coat it with some white chocolate ganache, which has been in my fridge for a, a minute or two. I might just give it a quick whiz with my food mixer. Let me just move that over there, which is all plugged in. let's get that going so we're going to take hold of this and we're just going to put this onto the cake filling up any holes as we go so this is a chocolate cake and I'm putting white chocolate ganache on the cake itself because I'm going to cover it in a cream sugar paste tonight so I don't want to see the chocolate cake so the best way to do that is to put on white chocolate ganache which then creates a nice white base for you now, when you're putting ganache on, you need to work fairly quickly and probably in sections because it does tend to set. Although, having said that, <laughs> I've overheated it so much. As I've overheated it, she says, trying not to laugh at herself, it probably won't, but we'll see anyway. So, we'll keep going. It's probably better than when you do it. Uh, it's probably a little bit better. There we go. Let's move that back a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so, round we go. 
top. If it goes up onto the board, that doesn't matter. You can always scrape that bit down. But you need to work fairly quickly with ganache. You can't be hanging around because it sets really quickly when you've not overheated it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get the plastic side scraper out and let's just run that round so we can get that nice and flat. There we go. And it also then shows you where you've got some um, issues, I was going to say. You know what I mean, Kelly? Bumpy bits. Bumpy bits. So we know where we've got a bit there, for example. We can just put a bit more extra ganache in there, cover that up, another little bit there. And a bit there. It's fine. And a little bit there as well. Lots of places that I've not missed, but have when you've evened it out, you can see where they are. So there we go. We'll go around again. And then what we'll probably do is we'll put it into the fridge and then we'll bring it out again and we'll just give it one more scrape so that it's nice and flat. Like so, there we go, that's okay. Okay, so there you go, pretty straightforward, I think. What do you reckon? Have we got another cake board around anywhere? Is there one what over size? Any size? There's, there's a stack of them. Uh, yeah, one of those. What size are those? I don't know. We'll have a look and Circle. See. Circle, okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's just a... Yeah, no, I, I don't want all of them, just one. Nine round, nine inch? Yeah, it's fine. I just want something to put this on, really, because I've realised I've just put this onto my cake board that I actually need. Right. <laughs> my ganache never looks like that what am i doing wrong i don't know. just over melt it <laughs> don't over melt it there you go <laughs> all right i'm going to just put that on there and tip this upside down hopefully that will come out she says this could be a moment everybody come on oh, it's sticking it's also gluing itself to the board actually matter too much tonight because I'm going to be covering all of this but I would like it to come off the board eventually there we go magic that wasn't stressful at all <laughs> right okay so I've just moved it onto another little board here and then what we're going to do is we're going to just coat the top as well so that that's all sealed basically what we're doing is we're sealing the cake that's the idea anyway so that the chocolate's not going to go all over the place get in the way of the sugar paste because there's nothing worse than chocolate crumb when you're trying to sugar paste a cake you can literally guarantee it that it will appear as if by magic no matter how much clearing up you do there will be some chocolate up here so there we go so let's and we'll just take that now down the side a bit of extra on there actually to be honest with you it's set already on those sides unbelievably <laughs> unbelievably after we overheated it it has actually set i don't care really what happens to the top because that doesn't need to be smooth because we've got things to go on that but the sides i do need them to be flat so therefore i'm working a little bit harder on the sides than i am on the top but we'll flatten the top off anyway just to make sure that we've got it relatively organized it doesn't take too long and there we go bring that in like that right the prep's worth it it's worth spending a bit of extra time getting it right because otherwise it can cause you lots of problems later on now the sides here are not 100% smooth there's gaps and all sorts of things going on but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the fridge for about five minutes and just let it um, set a bit then come back and fill in some of these gaps and then it will be ready to be coated in sugar paste so we're just going to put it in for a second and then I can have a, a mini tidy up so I can roll out some sugar paste while we're waiting so let's move that into the fridge right so that's on and then we can bring that back in a second i would change the camera so you don't have to look at my mess <laughs> it's always all over the place when i do cake decorating isn't it kelly mm. um right can we put that in the sink for a second 
probably going to need it back in a minute anyway, so you can all look at my Star Wars cake while I'm wandering around. <laughs> if you haven't spotted it already, there's a lovely Star Wars cake here today. Put that down, don't want to see my fridges. Um, now let's have a clear up so that we know we can then roll out some sugar paste. So um, because it's gardening themed, I'm going to put the pot on some sort of fake looking grass. Um, not astroturf, uh, <laughs> but grass. So I'm going to put it onto some green. Now, I started thinking it was a really good idea to mix the green and then realised, no, I need to do that live. So I've waited. <laughs> I've got halfway through it and then you'll see that I've, um, I've stopped mixing it. But that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> right, there we go. A little bit of chocolate on that as well. Let's get rid of that. Hold on. There we go. And then we won't have to worry about the mess when we get going. So I can guarantee you the minute I roll out a bit of sugar paste, there will be some chocolate cake appearing from somewhere. Right, let's move that over there. Okay, we're getting organised now. So we're going to cover the board next. I haven't got a particularly big board. I think it's an eight inch board actually. It doesn't look very big. Maybe a nine at a push. Which one? This one that I just gave you. What did you just give me? A, a nine. nine inch. No, oh, so what's that then? That's, that's also a nine inch. That's also a nine. So I've got a nine inch cake board. I didn't actually know, I'm just checking. <laughs> so making this up as I go along, you see. <laughs> like usual. Okay, done. Right, now we're getting organised. What have I got on there? More ganache. The ganache is spreading, Helly. It's getting everywhere. Right, let me wash my hands. Okay, gosh, that ganache has gone everywhere. <laughs> on the, um, they on. said, can they have a proper look at the May the 4th cake? You can, but <laughs> I have to tell you, it's a dummy. So it's been in my cake room quite a while now. So it's a little bit dusty in places. We used to take it to wedding fairs. I did. Now crazy. obviously I've not done a wedding fair for a while. So it's it's now having a hard time. It's, um, yes, I'll bring it in so you can have a little look. There we go. I say it's a bit old now. Yoda... And it normally goes on a spinning... Um... Yeah, it spins. Yoda might fall off. <laughs> I think that's what I'm more worried about. So there you go. There's my Star Wars cake. But it's one of these reveal cakes. This goes to my wedding fair with me. So there you go. Um, and it's quite an old cake, actually. So you go... Look, cocoa butter painting on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's got... Look at that. Sugar it's quite a long time ago. <laughs> Sugar flowers, everybody. And then round Star Wars again. So you can't actually see Star Wars until it's turned. So I've normally got it on a it's revolving... It's my kind of wedding cake. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's not mad enough for you, I don't think, Kelly. Um, but it's one of these ones where, um, you know, when you look at it from one side, it looks um, like a wedding cake. And then it's got like a hidden reveal. So that's what this is. So I've got my hidden reveal cake out for you tonight. So there you go. I'll leave that there. <laughs> I'll go back to what I'm meant to be doing now. Right, okay. Let's have a go at the next thing. So we're going to turn the camera down and we're going to do uh, green. Hold on. So I've got to get my, hold on, I've got wire sticking out there. Let me just unplug. Let me go to the other camera for a second because otherwise I'll shake you to bits while I'm unplugging everything. Right. And sugar paste. Okay, there we go. There we go. So this is some sugar paste I started kneading earlier today. Now, what I've done is I started kneading it and then thought, oh no, I need to stop because I wanted to do a sort of a grass effect where it's not completely mixed because grass looks better if you don't mix it all the way through. So I started to mix it. Now I used uh, Colour Splash Leaf, which is one I tend to use all the time, um, just to cover the board. So there we go. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to over knead it. So the one occasion you can actually get away with it. Okay. And then we're going to start rolling out. So this is for... Actually, no, actually, Kelly, one thing I forgot to get out today. And yeah. I just suddenly remembered 
was a leaf cutter. I hate when you look over in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I know. So I was full. Well, I, I know. And I, I thought I'd got it out, but I just suddenly thought, uh-oh. I can always cut some freehand ones out if need be. We can get round it. We'll make it work somehow. So this is for my little board. So we're rolling out this green. I don't want it to be particularly flat. I'd like it to be a little bit mottled, which it just about is, so that's okay. Okay, there we go. And then we've got my lovely smedger, the beloved smedger, which we'll put round here to get it all flat. And we go. And then we'll take some, whoops, we'll take some water. And we're just going to quickly paint the board. I might switch to the other camera because I don't really want to drip it all over the sugar paste I've just rolled out. So we'll just paint that. So do it with water, don't do it with anything else. It's easier to do it with water. Okay. Move that over there, out of the way, before I spill it. Take hold of your sugar paste, pick it up and pop it over the top of your cake board. Oh, I've gone off yeah, screen a little bit. There we go. We're back on again. Okay, round we go. And then what we'll do, I need a plastic side scraper. Where's the other one gone? I've got a big one, that's fine. And then we're just going to cut this off a bit like... <laughs> that's got to be your catchphrase. We'll make well, it work. <laughs> It's that, and there's. I've got a few now, actually, apparently. People keep... <laughs> there you go. What was the other thing I said? When it's gone, it's gone. Um, there's another one. Put my teeth in. I say that quite a bit. <laughs> there we go. Right, so we cut that off. No sharp knives involved lovely board ready to go so let's just push that paste back there you go there you go there you go there, there you, you go. go so i've been watching that greek wedding film you see that's what it is <laughs> every time i watch that i say there you go for about a week don't it's i funny. i know <laughs> does everyone know my, what's it called my big fat greek wedding, greek wedding. what a great film that, that is. is such a there you go there you go <laughs> and that's why I will say it, you see. I'm just so asking what sugar paste right. are you using? Okay, so my sugar paste varies. Honest to God, every week I use something different. This week it's couture, I think, um, with maybe some satin horror mixed in there. I literally go, oh, that one's done, right, now onto that one, and I'll put the two together. I've got another one here, and I can't actually remember what I did with that, but that's last week's one as well, so and lots of things going on. So I have... Uh, Satinara, I'm looking around at my supplies here. I also have um, Couture, which I use a lot. I also use Renshaw's quite a bit as well, so anything's fine. I wouldn't worry too much. Um, I don't mind really, I'd use whatever whatever I can get is fine. Quite like that one though. Couture is one I've used now for quite a long period of time. Um, Satinara is the new one and it's very nice, so I'm having um, <laughs> I'm having lots of fun doing that. Right, let's get that cake back out of the fridge. Let's do that first, because it should have set a bit by now. Oh, well, it will have set enough anyway for what, <laughs> <laughs> for what we need it to do. <laughs> it's got to have set by now. Okay, let's put this on here. There we go. Let's switch cameras again. Right, and now the ganache again and the plastic side scraper and then I'll have another seat so I can get near it. So what we'll do this time, it's difficult, it's gone too hard now, let's give it a quick whiz again, make sure I don't knock that over. <laughs> it's a lot, I would say. <laughs> It's a lot. What is it? <laughs> Liz. It's a lot. <laughs> I've got all sorts of funny catchphrases, don't worry. Most of them are emblazoned on my students' well, minds. Charlotte Kelly. <laughs> Charlotte Kelly is what I say quite a lot to you two. I know. <laughs> what other ones are there? Well, at home. Oh yeah. no, I'm talking about work. Um, uh, work ones. Work related. Where's Miss Medger? Um, Miss Medger for a second. 
I can't remember once you say it a lot. Oh, Kelly, no, don't put me on the spot. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> oh, they're obsessed with me singing the words bye. of bye at the moment. Oh. So, ever since we were kids, every time mum says goodbye, like, there's nothing wrong with it. No, like, you know when you say goodbye to someone, you're like, bye. No, Never. you see, you sang it then. Ma mum goes, <laughs> bye, like that. <laughs> so it's become so ingrained in both me and Charlotte that whenever we say bye to people, you we have, have to sing go, it. bye. Like, well, you sing it. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Is it? But it's good. It's nice. It's tuneful, Kelly. I don't know why I started doing that, but I um, mean, there's nothing I'll do wrong it. with it. <laughs> I'll do it at the end tonight. Don't worry. Oh, right. Okay. This is moving around. This is not helping me. Right. Might have to take this. Um... Can you pass me the smaller plastic side scraper? Because this one's um, getting in my way, Kelly. Please. What do you want? The small plastic side scraper. The big. Someone one. just wrote a comment about <coughs> the Greek wedding. Ah. Uh, <laughs> her favourite phrase from the first one is the man may be the head but the woman is the neck and she turns the head away oh my god wait I like the bit where she's like ah oh, yes I have a I had a mole removed oh, and the... it was my twin <laughs> <laughs> the funny lady we like her right wait till I say goodbye tonight I'm everyone gonna... says that your goodbyes are very endearing yeah wait till I say goodbye tonight there's going to be a <laughs> bye <laughs> no <laughs> No, there'll be a full chorus tonight. Um, if you stick buttercream on biscuits, will it soften them after a few days? Um, maybe. Depends how much you put on, I, I guess. guess it's wet, I would have thought so. I would think so. Maybe put a little bit of sugar paste down first. I don't think putting buttercream. Um, uh, I guess it would. I, I reckon it would because buttercream is very soft and it stays soft. Kelly's the cookie queen. I am the cookie queen. Nikki, I say that it, I think it will go soft. Give it a go because, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? You have to eat some biscuits. Yeah, you have to eat the evidence if it goes wrong, you see. That's not so bad, is it? No. I think you've got nothing to lose but to try. How about that? That's it. <laughs> that sounds like a new motto of some description, doesn't it? Right, okay, so we're just tidying this little bit up. Even if my ganache is sort of sort of cooperating, it's doing what it needs to do, so that's okay. I don't mind. We've done the board so far, so we're making progress and we've carved the cake. So that's two jobs done so far. And now we're on smoothing out the sides. So we get a smoothish. <laughs> smoothish being the word. Plant pot. There we go. I've got a big lumpy plant pot round this side. Right, let's go round. There we go. There you go. That's another one. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the Greek wedding. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's put a bit more up here. There was a big lump of it there. Oh dear. There we go take that across the top so I'm not bothered about the top the got the top is sealed so that's fine that's all we need to worry about with that it's the sides that I want a bit better because they're going to be flat so it's worth spending a little bit of time sorting them out and getting them flat and then when they're flat I will be happy you see that's what it will be like she says <laughs> I'm gonna be here for hours tonight <laughs> This may not finish on time. <laughs> as long as no one's got anywhere to go, it's fine. Well, they what didn't... night is it? It's well, it's Tuesday, Tuesday night. night. What happens Tuesday night? Nothing. They didn't have um, Carol yesterday because Carol's on holiday, but it was bank holiday yesterday. So mm. I've got to make up for it now, you see, with a, <laughs> a super duper cake. You see, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. Right, we're nearly there. A little bit more fiddling about on this side. I don't want it to make lumpy sugar paste, you see, because otherwise that won't look good. I want it to be nice. A little bit more. Where do we get to here? I might actually... Are you going to make my cake on the line? No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not unless everybody wants to tune in for about two weeks. <laughs> No, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to any. I might make something on the live for your birthday cake, Kelly. Uh -huh. You will be banned from tuning in that day. 
<laughs> I'm just here with my eyes closed, like responding to people's <laughs> questions. No, I won't be doing it on a Tuesday. If I do it, it'll be on a Thursday. So, um, or oh, I will tell you, you can't come in that day. I'm very excited for my birthday cake, actually. Okay. No, I haven't not yet. It's coming. Don't worry. What like that? It's gonna be there. Right, we're nearly there. I want it to be lovely. I think we're just about there, or well, certainly as far as I'm prepared to go with it at this stage. I think that will do. A little bit more there, maybe. Trouble is, I'll keep going round and round and round, drive you all crazy, <laughs> drive myself crazy in the process. Spin, 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 spin. Yeah, okay, let's leave it at that. I think that's fine. We will get away with that. That's what we want. We can put things on it. You know what I'm like? Can always find something to stick on it. Right, let me get rid of this ganache because it's going to get messy again. And we're going to go to sugar pasting in a second. So I'm going to put the lid back on that and move it out of the way. And we're going to have another mini clear up because we need this smedger. And it's currently covered in ganache, which absolutely everything is covered in ganache at the moment. So, have we got um, what do you need? Cloth. No, I've seen it. Okay. Fine. That can go in there. I'll get one of these. Give us a smedger a quick look. Oh, I'm making a Rosie and Jim birthday cake for my friend's daughter's 21st. Yeah, you see, Rosie, Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim was lovely. We used to watch that, Kelly. Yeah, I'm going to put my cake back Jim. in the fridge now, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering what I'm doing, just to make sure it's completely set. You're going to sing it now. I will sing. I don't know how it goes. All I know is just chopped off Facebook if you start oh. singing. <laughs> what is it? Copyright? Probably. Oh. <laughs> if we sing it in a different tone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, right. I'm just cleaning a few bits of equipment up here because... Oh, someone says, I've always been afraid of trying ganache, but watching you now, I think I might give it a try. Yeah, go for it. What have you got to lose? That's what I say. And the worst part is, if it doesn't work out, you just eat it. That is my motto. If it doesn't work out, just eat it. Like, what have you honestly lost? <laughs> How much chocolate Nothing. have you had this evening? <laughs> uh, I had a yoghurt with a bit of chocolate in it, and then I had four pieces of Bourneville. Have we had coffee or something? <laughs> no coffee? I've had one at 3 o'clock, 3.30. Okay. What should you like, honestly? Now someone's singing the Rosie and Jim theme tune. That's so lovely. Oh, it's canal based as yeah, well. Yeah, Mum likes canal based. They know that. Can you tell from her Instagram? <laughs> it's all over my Instagram. Big fan of canals. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I, I used to be brought up on a canal barge or something, Kelly, in a former life. In a past life. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Right, I'm just making some space here. Okay, right, now, while the cake is setting in the fridge, I've made some flowers earlier today, but I'm going to make a few more to add to the collection because I thought if I made them all live, it would take forever. So we'll make those next, and then we can cover the cake and start fiddling around with that. So let me bring this in. I just thought of something, but I think I need to bring something in. Okay, right, so we're going to use one of these, which is um, it's a Blossom Sugar Art Cutter, and we're going to make some hydrangea, because this is a hydrangea cake that I'm doing today, and I'm going to use sugar paste, I'm not going to use modelling paste. Everyone's like, Kelly's on a roll tonight. Oh no, I don't it's know. It's very high. <laughs> I've no idea what she's on. You can see I've made a few of here already, so these are the ones that I've done already this evening. I'll bring them up a little bit so you can see them. So I've made some dark lilac coloured ones and some lilac lighter ones but what I'll do is I'll make some now so you can see how that's done just in case there's a mystery to it so I've got some I used violet earlier today and I mixed up a couple of shades I think the most important thing if you're doing a hydrangea cake is making sure that you don't sit in one place with it and just do one colour so I've already done this colour and then let's bring this one over here as well this color so we've got two different colors already so imagine them together so i'm going to go down probably one more paler version i you think you can also introduce blue 
And I don't know if you're doing this because we haven't spoken about it, but if you made all the, <laughs> <laughs> but if you made all the flowers like a bit like different okay. variations of purple, like this, no, 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 listen, I'm this listening, is Kelly. Color. Yes, I know. Um, you can. Um, what would you like me to do, Kelly? Blue dust in them, so you can like introduce the blue into the hydrangeas. Right. So we're going to dust them as well at the end, are we? Well, no, you could. I'm just giving options here. Right. Options with Kelly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> terror tonight um okay i'm thinking now you've thrown me a little bit okay we're going to do this very pale what we're going to do is take hold of these and we're just going to mix it really badly that's all i can describe it as really like so so we're not going to bother to mix it all the way through marble well not really marble more just terrible mixing <laughs> on, purpose. on purpose yeah i think there's a bit of blue in there randomly no, it doesn't matter no, I know. Hydrangeas are perfectly blue. Oh, I've turned it over to see what I've got on the other side, but anyway, I've got a sort of a... So when you do this, don't do it um, matte. Just let it kind of mix badly so that you get a bit of a different ray of colour going on. There we go. Now, these are very easy to use. You can use them with modelling paste. You can use them with... Um, Sugar. this is just sugar paste and the reason I've done them in advance is because I needed a fair few of them to do this cake so I've actually already done can quite a few you can use them with chocolate paste so modeling cocoa form you can use them with those I'm just going to push these back a little bit so I've got a bit of space and then all you do is take hold of the cut it's very straightforward and then you put it onto this here now sometimes it can be a little bit sticky so I'm just going to put that on there press this out pop it on there and you press the two together Press it down, whoops, and it jumps out. Now it marks it with the veins in it for you. Now what I tend to do is I tend to pinch them and then I tip it upside down and leave it standing to dry. Um, otherwise they're very flat and I don't like them flat. I want them to be standing. So that's why I do that. So I say they're quite quick to do, but take your fingers and just pinch them and stand them. Like Hydrangeas can change colour depending on the acidity of the soil. That is correct. Is that a fun fact from you? No, Jackie Mc McMinn said that. I, I know. The that. problem is, with it, well, it's like when you buy a hydrangea and it's pink and then the following year it changes colour and you think, hello, what's going on really? here? Yeah, it's because of the soil change. Ask Dad. He's Mr Gardener. Go and ask him when you get home. He'll tell you what. So we're just pinching these. And we're leaving them to dry upside down. So we're not leaving them to dry the way up that we can are going to use them. We're leaving them up the other way. I might stick a few white ones in as well. Would you stick some white ones in? Maybe? Maybe no. some, some just paler ones. You don't really see a white hydrangea thing. There is a white hydrangea, yeah. There's a pink, white and a lilac one. How acidity do you uh, how acidic do you want your soil? <laughs> Kelly, you're now trying to sound like you know what you're talking about, I know. and I know you don't. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so this I is between these two colours. That's dark colour. That's a oh, I'm off screen. Okay, that's a dark medium. I think the one we're doing is sort of between the two. So maybe just add a bit more white. Yeah, it's actually it working out okay yeah. when you look at them. If you look at them like that, Kelly, it looks all right. So we'll just make a few more. I've got to be honest. I don't really know how many I need. I've just made a load, and we'll just work it out from there. But I want there to be um, a certain amount of them on here to make it look right. And then we'll put some painting bits on there as well later. I've got some little things lined up that we can use for our gardening theme. So stay tuned. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> that might be a new catchphrase. Well, everyone's saying that it's <laughs> raining outside. So yeah, why you would you want to go outside? You can't go out anyway. So yeah, and it's getting dark. So yeah, we have to watch this instead. Much more fun. More company. <laughs> Something like that. There we go. Do you want me to cut those out? Uh, eventually, yeah, not at the moment. We will, I will get you to cut those out, okay? But I don't want them all. I will no, only I want don't. a few. So, uh, no, we'll do that later. No rush at the moment. There we go. There you go. You've got <laughs> Stop it. I can't <laughs> keep saying that. I think I've probably got enough, but. I'm going to just cut a few more out for good luck, just because I can. Anything and then, you can choose. Then I get the ones I want. And then what I might do is just go one more colour. So I might just go a little bit on the... So if I take this again, and then if I just literally grab a little bit like this, and then grab a little bit of 50-50 white, would you agree? Yeah. And then just mix it 
I don't think plain white ones would look. No, anything. we'll just mix this badly, like so. I swear there's like a book, don't mix it fully rather than mix it badly. <laughs> mix it badly, everybody. There you go. And then you'll get more of a, we're getting quite a nice look, getting all that on the back. I want this side though, I've decided. So, and then you get another shade. So I'll move those over. So these will dry this afternoon. Let's turn that round. Put some more there. Okay, right. Let's have another go. So we'll do a few more and then we will, we'll assume that's enough. And then if it isn't, we'll make some more later on. But I'm looking at what I've done and I'm going to guess I've probably done enough. So, so literally just put them on there, press them down. They're very quick to do, as you can see, but they just need a little bit of help drying. So if you leave them to dry like that, they'll just dry flat and they don't look right. So pinch them and turn them upside down and then you'll be fine. Sometimes they get stuck when you press too hard. You can always use a bit of icing sugar to stop them sticking. Sometimes I'll just literally put a little bit of icing sugar on there. That stops them. Modeling paste will hold their shape better. Um, but I didn't do modeling paste. I just did sugar paste tonight. So that's fine. But I've got quite a nice spread of color actually across here. There's um, dark, medium and white. It's really starting to rain here now, I've just discovered. Yeah, you... Everyone says that it's been hailing. Yeah, it's just started raining here quite dramatically hasn't it we did have a little bit earlier yeah it's going for it now you can hear it in the background a little bit on the roof okay right we'll do five more and then we're done and we'll leave those to set we'll move on to something else get all our decorations underway so we've got some uh, little tools as well to go in the cake itself. Very much typically me is that we'll do all the bits that are going to be decorations and it all comes together in the last sort of hour. Here comes the rain big time now. If you can't hear it on camera, <laughs> it's really... You'll have to start talking louder. I might start talking louder or um, <laughs> we might suddenly find takes my internet down and if it does we will be back <laughs> but if it does after I'll, this short break i'll be really annoyed because i've got quite a lot to do yet so let's hope it doesn't i'm sure it won't although this is long wick and we are always getting power cuts aren't we kenny mm. continuously but yeah it's now going for it big time outside well, that's okay we're not outside so that's all right oh you might be able to hear it maybe okay right that's enough of that We've done all we want to do. We'll keep these for now because we might be able to use them later on in something. Put those in there and move that out of the way. Right, so let's get covering the cake. Let's move that over there and let's move those with it so we don't lose them. And it's now really, really raining. <laughs> As in like, can anybody hear it? <laughs> can anyone hear the rain? <laughs> it's like really bad. <laughs> I don't have a coat. Well, that's it. You silly girl, aren't you? <laughs> right, let's crack on. Let's get the cake out. Yeah, he's going for it here big time at the moment. I don't think it's ever rained like this when I've done a live, but that's okay. We've had extreme weathers in heat. Right. Oh gosh, yeah, we have. We have done heat, haven't we? Okay, where are we? We're here now. Let's move this board out of the way for a second so I don't end up damaging it. Right, we're going to cover the cake now. So we're going to get hold of our paintbrush and water. And we're going to paint it and then we're going to cover it. So we're going to just... Go yeah, everyone's saying they can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. It's starting to... Yeah, it's dying off a little bit now. Just a little storm going through. So I'm just going to go over the ganache with some water. Just so the sugar paste has got something to stick to. It's just about set. It's a it's a tiny bit soft, but it'll be okay. It's enough for what I need it to do. And if it's lumpy in any places, well, we'll be sticking some extra hydrangea on there. <laughs> well, what I did want to say... Yes, Kelly? That you could paint that 
paint that. What's that? Your hydrangea thing you could have I could. But Not live, but I'm saying. Yeah, I could do. Yeah, if you wanted to do the wisteria. Anyone who's on the wisteria. Oh, that's what that is. The wisteria painting class. Or anybody who's on the paint, uh, any of the beginner's floral classes. If you wanted to do a nice pot, you could paint your cherry blossom on here. Or you or your, could do a black pot with the white blossoms. There's all sorts of ideas there. So if any of my students are on at the moment that are signed up for beginner's floral painting, think of your pots. <laughs> think of what all these lovely garden pots look like. And you can have quite a, a good go at those. They look very nice. Right, that's done. Let's move that out of the way so I don't knock that over. And then what we'll do, let me just clear up this little bit of water that's in my way. So we're going to cover this cake with a similar colour to what I, what did I do last week? Oh yeah, I did that peach flower thing. So what I've got here is I've got a bit more paste I mixed up actually. So it's like a creamy colour. Um, the colour I used is called caramel ivory it's a sugar flare color and i've mixed that into my sugar paste so we're going to have a creamy color pot for this we're not going to go terracotta we're going cream so we're going to go onto this camera now so we can roll it out so we'll give it a bit of a knead to start with get it going so hopefully now we've sealed the chocolate cake in there we're not going to have any on our sugar paste because that's a real nuisance when it starts doing that we don't want that and then we'll get hold of some icing sugar just pop that down and then we'll roll it out let's move that over there what size cake did you start off with so we have one five inch and two six inch layers and each layer was approximately one and a half inches in depth so um, that's what I use you can make your pot any size you want so you can make it bigger or smaller but just make sure one size is an inch smaller so that you've got a bit of graduation on your pot otherwise it'll all be the same size which is fine if you want that kind of pot but if you don't want that kind of pot you will need to alter the size a little bit it's still raining <laughs> quite considerably it's picked up again how long does ganache keep for in the fridge and can you freeze it if you want to make some ahead of time? Um, ganache I think normally keeps for a couple of weeks tops if it's got no alcohol in it. Um, this is where I tell you that I usually get mine from Sweet Success. <laughs> we do make it occasionally, don't we? But we do tend to get it from Sweet Success. Um, oh. I've got so much to do every week. I struggle to do some of these basic things. It's terrible, really. But, yeah, sweet success. But there's loads of ganache recipes out there, tons of them. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure we'll And look. is there a terracotta, um, like, colour that you can dye? Just use brown. Brown with a bit of red in it. There you go, colour theory, Cali. I just wasn't sure if there was a pre-made gel. There probably is one called terracotta, but it's probably not the right colour as we found in the past, haven't we? The ones that say they're what they are, they're nothing like it. So yeah, brown with what did you want in it? Red? Yeah, a little bit of red. There you go. A little bit of colour theory with Kelly there. Terracotta, brown with red. Right, okay, we've done that bit. Where are we? We're going over here now. Right, let's pick this up. I hope I've rolled out enough, actually. I didn't really check. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, chuck that over. Okay, so we're just going to bring this across and get all the air out. You really need to cover the top, to be honest, but it just makes it a lot easier than trying to wrap it, which I can't stand doing. You can wrap them, but it's much easier to do it like this. And then we'll just work it down the sides. I know plant pot cakes, you don't need to do this top bit here, but I find it much easier just to do it like this and accept it. side so we're going to go round the sides to start with bring it down and it's a funny shape it's going in so you're going to have to keep pulling the paste out and then pushing it back in again to get it into the right position eventually it will go but it's not because it's not straight and it's going in you might find you've got to have a little bit more of a fight with it than before you can see it's starting to go in now just keep pulling it out and pulling it back in again we're getting there 
you can see it's dropped right to the bottom. Keep pulling it back. And then eventually, we're not far off it now, it will have gone all the way to the bottom and we can flatten it out. Feels like I'm just taking the world's longest time to get around this cake tonight. Right, that's it, starting to go now. Nearly there, she says. <laughs> it's fighting with me this last little bit. There we go. All right, we've made it. Any mistakes? Cover them up. Any mistakes? Stick a flower on it. <laughs> right, let's make sure it's all right out at the bottom here. Down to the bottom. Why would someone sugar paste rip when they do that? Uh, they've either got it too thin, they've pulled it, it's too dry. Oh, there's loads of reasons why sugar paste tears. Is there any way you can prevent it from ripping? Um, be careful, work quickly, don't put down too much icing sugar and just be gentle with it. So a lot of people pull it and it goes straight over these sharp edges and rips. So you just get all your air out and then guide it down as, as carefully and as quickly as you can. Make sure you've got a decent brand. So don't use rubbish sugar paste, use something that's, um, you know, nice to use. Especially if you want a little bit of help at the start, it's always worth investing in something nice. Satinara is nice and easy to use, as is Couture. Um, Renshaw's is fine. Um, would it have been easier to cover this cake upside down? You could have covered it upside down. But then the centre of the pot would be... But the centre of the pot wouldn't have anything on it and I want it to have something on it. But yeah, you could do that. That's fine. Either or is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to tidy up the bottom a little bit. No knives on your boards. No, we're using... That's something I've learned. No knives on the boards. No, I'm just using a bit of a palette knife, to be honest, because it's just the nearest thing I happen to pick up. But plastic side scraper, anything really. Just to tidy up the bottom. Let's take that out. Like so, let's get rid of these little bits. There we go. And then I'm just going to take my lovely smedger and I'm going to go round. Now you can do it this way with the smedger, but you've got to remember it's tipping. And the smedger itself, because it's got that sharp edge uh, that sits on the board, isn't going to like it very much. You're actually going to have to tip your smedger to be able to get into that bottom bit there. So I'm just going to go round and just tidy everything up. And then we can put the pot onto the board and we can then start decorating it. So we're going to do a little painted flower pot. We're not going to make it too complicated. We're going to make it fairly straightforward. I'm looking for a different knife. Is there a sharp knife on that sink? Yeah, there's loads. Just one little one. Is there a little one? Yeah, okay? perfect. Thank you, because the other ones are I prefer a sharper edge. There we go, I like that. Make sure we haven't got anything in there going underneath. There we go. Anything else that's trapped, you can always pull that out, can't you? There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just sharpen up this edge a little bit at the top. A smidger. So when we go to put our lip on it in a second, that should sit against that. So we're going to do that in a minute with one of these multi-ribbon things. Right, happy with that? Okay. Now what we'll do is we will put it onto, we want to put it onto the board now. Let me just think, or do I do the other bit first? No, we'll put it onto the board now. I'm just thinking out loud here on the basis that we're just doing this <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> it's another word for winging it, basically. If you want to paint the pot, would you do, would you attach to the board first? Yeah, because that's, do you think? I don't know. Yes, because yeah. we're going to move it and the sugar paste will move. Yeah, we're going to move it. Okay, so we've got some royal icing that we've made with whipping it up. What flavour have you used? Velvet vanilla, Kelly. Okay, so we made this up a little while ago. I'm just going to pop some of that on there. Actually, I'm going to push the 
and pop back a little bit. I'm going to offset it. I said offset it, not upset it. <laughs> and then we're going to move that to the edge. Catch it. Whoops, I need dropped it then. My dad would have enjoyed that bit. All right, and then we'll pop it on there like so. So I'm going to just push it back a little bit. I haven't got it um, in the middle. That's been done deliberately. Let's pick it up and we'll put it onto there so it's safe and out of the way. And we're just going to press it down so that it's in position and it's not going to move. There we go. That's that bit done. Right, let's put that over there. Right, so we're going to put a bit of a, a lip round the edge of the plant pots. We'll do that next. We'll get that sorted. So we'll use some of the same colour. We'll put that on. I'll give it a bit of a knead. There's quite a lot here. I don't think I need as much as this. We'll get rid of a little bit of it. Otherwise, it will end up being too thick. And then we'll roll it out to start with because it's easier to do it that way than it is to... Let's go into the other camera for a second. Let's put the palette knife there so it's not in my way. Now, what have I done with it? There it is. I've got one of these multi-ribbon cutters. These are really good and they make very nice plant pot edges. Now, unbelievably it's the uh, <laughs> it's in the same position as last time because when I used it last time I did it with a plant pot so this is the one I'm going to use so all I'm going to do is roll this out into a strip all being well I can get round in one go which would be ideal really can't guarantee it but I'm going to give it a go you work fairly quickly and you don't make it too thin it's normally okay so I'm rolling out a long strip here. I'm going off camera and on camera at the same time, I suspect. Do we sell the turntables? We did have some low turntables in, but we haven't got any again at the moment. They're a bit in and out at the minute. So I don't. Carol may do. Have a look on Sugar and Crumbs and see if they've got any. And I've got an air bubble there, which is not happening. Let's get rid of that. Um, yes. I haven't got any at the moment, but as I say, Carol may well have some. Have a little look. Right, let's pick that up. Make sure it's roughly the same thickness. And we'll take hold of, now I'm going to be off screen for a second, and then you're going to see me appear on the screen with this. So I'm going to come across the screen now with the multi-ribbon cutter. There I go. And then I'm going to go off screen again. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the way it is because it's a long piece of sugar paste. Um, I'll go back onto the other camera and you'll see then how long it is. So I'm going to cut the end both sides move these bits out of the way take hold of some icing sugar and then i'm just going to before i roll that up there's no water there it is i'm just going to paint a line around the edge of this cake literally like that with water okay done and then we'll roll this up i might put a bit more icing sugar on it because i don't want it to stick so we're going to roll this up. Now you've got to be careful when you do this because what you don't want to do is squash it. So I'm going to roll that up like so. Now I start at the back because that's where our join is going to be. And then we'll just pop that on like so. I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. And then we'll unroll it. She says it took me three attempts one time to do this. So... If I can do it in one, I'm going to be pleased with that. I think I'm going to be okay. Kelly's sneezing at the wrong moment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. And we'll cut it. So you're a professional now. You I know. Like three weeks, so this will be I'm a professional now, whereas I wasn't when I did it three weeks ago. <laughs> You've been winging it the whole time. <laughs> okay. There we go. Right. In one. That's our plant pot done there like that, you see, so that's pretty good. Now, I want it to be one of those sort of nice, pretty painted-y type plant pots, so we're going to emboss it now, and we're going to just do a little bit of painting just to make the plant pot look really pretty. I'm just going to organise this a little bit. There we go. Okay, so a nice sort of creamy colour pot, so not a terracotta pot. There we go. Now... I have got here, we've been doing patchwork cutters for the last few weeks, so we're going to use one again. 
And the one we're going to use tonight is called Blossom and Leaf. And it's got lots of different little patterns on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a few on going round the base. So we're just going to take hold of this. I'm going to put my hand on the board. Hopefully it won't move, she says. Where do we Maybe want we it? Should have <laughs> off the no, board. no, no, it's going to be fine. And we're going to have one. I'm just trying to position where I want it to be. So we're going to put that there like so and i'm just going to rock it so that the pattern goes onto my cake there you go perfect Yay. like so and then what i'll do is i will i've got another one here do i want the same pattern or should i go for something different I'll go for some little ones so we'll do some little mini ones going round perhaps kelly what do you think yeah I need to get this right because I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be really annoyed with myself otherwise if I don't. Okay. But then again you could always freehand. Yeah well you can freehand paint yeah that's I'm okay with that. Right then we'll put another little one. Do you know what would look really nice on a pot like this? Don't tell me now I've just no, done no, no, this. No 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 with all these uh, embosses as you know the um like the Chinese Japanese um blue and white plates you know oh, like the mean? willow pattern plates is that what they're called yeah the white and the blue ones yeah. you could use the embossers and then paint them like a navy blue yeah you could that would look really nice and you want me to do that no no, no no well, i'm not doing it today don't do it today but i think it's a really good idea to do the embosses like you don't have to just fill them in you could just follow the lines with a blue on like a white and you could make little so what we're going to do here is we've got the main one going across here there we go and then we'll put some little smaller ones here so we don't want to spend hours and hours painting this but you could if you wanted to this is moving which is driving me crazy a little bit there we go and then what have we got to i'm not going to do loads around the back because that's just a waste of time for painting purposes okay right let's paint it and then we can always add to if we want to so let's bring our cocoa butter in now i'm hoping you're going to be able to see this I might have to do a little rejig here so you can actually get in close on the camera and I can actually see it at the same time. Um, so cocoa butter painting um, is what we're going to be doing now. I've got a, I'm not going to light that on top of that plastic sheet so I can see that going up in flames. Right, let's move that over there. Oh, everyone's saying that. Oh, Kelly's so much more confident now on the line. Yeah, I've she, got a beef. I've got a class next yeah, week. Yeah, she's bricking it. You see, she's got her own class next week. So she's good. <laughs> right. So we've lit the. Well, we've got a smoke going on in here. So we've lit the um, flame on the chrome food warmer. There. We pop this metal paint palette on the top, and then we're going to add some cocoa butter, which we're then going to paint this little pattern on the side of this pot. So we'll pop that on there. It will melt very quickly. And we're going to use some dusting colours. So we're going to use grape violet and we're going to use, uh, what else did I pick up? White. White. I, well, I have intentions of using white, Kelly, but I don't think I actually picked it up. Well, didn't you say you need to start a new one? Oh, there it is. It's there right it there. is, right. There's the white and then green. What is it, that moss green? Spring green. Yeah, I was looking for, oh, moss green might be better. Do you think? Yeah, I prefer moss green. We go moss green. Yeah. So we're going moss green, grape violet, and white. So we'll pop some white in there. Maybe petal blue. No, because I'm only doing lilac. I'm not because I'm not going to fiddle around oh, okay. painting it too do... long, because I've got um, top to do yet. Otherwise, we'll be here till midnight. So we'll do green over there. I want to paint with the embossers. I think I need to paint them. All right, you can. I'll <laughs> do it right. Live? Kelly's going to do a Facebook live painting whatever you just said, Kelly. <laughs> Chinese. I something. was meant to be painting a guitar, but I broke the guitar. You broke the guitar and upset me. Right, what have I got here? Paintbrush number one. So this paintbrush has got a number on it. It's paintbrush number one. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just clean our brush up to make sure there's nothing in it, which there isn't. And then we're just going to paint this little pattern here onto this pot. So I've got my cocoa butter here. You can sort of see what I'm doing. I'm going to dip my brush into there, pick up some white and just mix like that. And I'm going to actually might go onto the other camera for a second just so you can see what's going on and all the mess that I've created in the process. <laughs> just so you know, we have our five paint brushes back. Yeah. That's I've it, yes. that. finally. And then I'm going to pick up some of the um, grape violet, mix it with the white so it goes to a nice lilac-y colour. There you go, you can see that now. Tiny bit stronger 
and then hopefully that will look nice with our pot you see it's all going to blend with the flowers when they go on okay there we go so that gives you an idea there let's go back where am i that camera right so all i'm going to do is paint the flower that's on here so you there's loads of these embosses i've been using them a lot recently so there's a lily the one I used last week was called Entwined Rose. This one is called Blossom and Leaf. We also have Wild Rose. There's one called Wild Rose. So Magnolia. If you, Magnolia. So if you, Magnolia's in now, thank goodness. Um, so if you've never had a go at doing anything like this before and you're confident, you're not sure about painting, this is a really, really good way to start because it's perfect. It's all embossed for you. And all you have to do is follow it. It's really easy to do, as long as you've got some cocoa butter and some dusts and a paintbrush, you're up and running and it looks very pretty. So it's definitely worth having a go because you can achieve some really nice effects with this. Jackie Adams says, uh, whatever you do, don't blow the candle out with the paint palette and the dusting powders will go everywhere. Yeah, they will, don't they Kelly? She did that I to me all week. the time. I never learn. No, she doesn't learn. You did it all over the cake board once, didn't you? In the middle of a live. Do you remember that, Kelly Man? Yeah, I, I know do. you're not listening to me. <laughs> oh, no, I was reading a comment. Okay, that's all right then. Right, okay, so we're now going to switch over to green. So we've got our, what colour did we go for? Moss green with yeah. some white. Just mixing a little bit on here. It's a job to see on the cover camera at the second. And then all we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll just paint these leaves just like this, very straightforward. As so we're creating a little sort of painted pot, I guess. You know, like you see at the garden centre, sort of flash ones that you pay a fortune for. You could just buy pots, couldn't you, and just take them home and paint them, but maybe not with cocoa butter, because I don't think that would Yeah, I don't think they'll survive the rain. Good idea. Acrylic might survive. Would acrylic survive, please? It's water-based paint, but I guess it would. I don't know. Once it's dried, acrylic's pretty industrial. Because yeah. it stays on your clothes. Yes, doesn't it, Kelly? Yeah, all well, my school uniform was covered in paint. Yes. So we're just going to bring that across there like that. Hopefully you can see that. I'm having to turn it a little bit towards me so I can see what's going on. I'll turn it back as well so you can see it. There you go. All right, we'll put a little bit more white in there. It's quite strong, although we need it to be strong so we can actually see it, can't we? That would help mm -hmm. us. So just follow the lines and just paint it in. It's nice and easy. It just makes the pot look a little bit sort of more interesting rather than just being a totally plain one. But then again, if you wanted to make a, a man's, well, not necessarily a man's, but a Father's Day one, you don't have to paint flowers. Do you? No, you don't. You're right, actually. You don't have to do that, but you know. It just makes it a bit more feminine, I guess. Yeah, well. maybe. It's just pretty. Mm. But if you were looking to do this for a men's take, you could just do this normal pot. You could do a normal pot. You could write dad on it or something, couldn't you, if you yeah, wanted to do go. that? Happy birthday. There we go. Look, see, that's very pretty. That looks very nice on there. Let's move that this way. Now the rest of this, some of this is actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Well, that looks really nice. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah. I'm going to paint the flowers before I paint the green in case I make a mistake. Because then it'll be, so I'm going to just go over the little flowers that are on here. So this is like a smaller version of the one I've just done. So this set is Blossom and Leaf and it's a patchwork cutter. All right, so just be careful which one there's loads of them there's um lily and magnolia and wild rose all sorts of different ones this one is pa um, blossom and leaf and i used it last block uh, no i used in twine roses last week didn't i yeah if you want to catch up on that one okay so let's go back round to this side and we'll just do the little flowers on this side so it's all the same but on a smaller version. I'm not going to go around the back because that will just add to my time um, on the live of me doing exactly the same thing. So I'll just leave the back but you can see what's happening here. A little pot and a little bit 
of flower down there it doesn't take very long and I think that's the point of this isn't it we normally do this whole thing from start to finish in a couple of hours we might overrun a little bit tonight but you never know suddenly it speeds up and, and we're done aren't we very quickly so let's just paint some of the leaves now on the side just need a bit more paint Everyone's loving it. They like the plant pot idea. Mm. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I just like those sort of, you know, you go into the garden centre and there's loads of these different pots and I thought, hold on a minute, I reckon we could do something with this. There you go, you can see that. Let's go down here. There, there's one at the bottom there that I put in the most awkward place I could possibly find by the looks. <laughs> typically. There's a big blob of icing down there so we'll be putting some stuff down there later but I have plans for that so that's all right. So I'm not going to worry about that. There we go and then we've got another one here. Now I'm not sure if this is a less is more situation it may well be. We'll have a look at it. Well, I think minute. if you kept with that design going around it would look really nice but if you did the longer one from the bottom rather than the top then that's fine. Okay thank you very much Kay. Yeah. Because you want to create a pattern, but you don't want it to be like yeah. identical all the way around. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit careful with this. You want to think about it, otherwise you will end up with it all being exactly the same. There you go, let's have a little look and see where we are with this. So that long one at the front, Yeah. I would say do it from the bottom this time. Going around the other side? Yeah. What, around the back? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it needs any more on the front. No, no, no. I think that's enough for the front. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I'm not going to do any more on the no, live. But if you were going to. Yeah, if you were going to go round the back, this piece here, you could put up the front there like that. There we go. Now what I'm doing, I'm just going to darken the green up a little bit more and just put some lines over some of the green just to make it stand out a bit more. That moss green goes well with the board. It's better than the spring green, I think. Yeah, I think the spring green is too vibrant vibrant for that. Mm. We've got the top to do yet and believe you me it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. <laughs> There's going to be more ganache involved in a minute. Because ah! <laughs> we need to create kind of like the heads of the hydrangea which we're going to do in a minute. And we are winging that bit definitely right. Okay there you go so just by adding in a little bit of extra green. There you go. And you can add lots of other things as well. So if you wanted to add, I think that's enough what we're trying to do. Kelly, agree? I agree. What we'll do, though, is we will just put... You could, well, well, we would carry on going around the side. Yeah, we would just keep going, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I'm just going to put white middle in the centre of that there. There's a little patch there that could be turned white. So I'm just going to put a little dot in there like that. So you can see the centre of the flower and it is there. So I'm not making this up. It is actually there. You can just see those flowers then a little bit better like that. It's only on that one. The rest of them are all side view. So it's just that one there. OK. I'll just sort this out because it's leaking. Although it doesn't really matter because I've got things that are going to be leaning. Go. Leaking, I said, not leaning. It's leaking. There's some more icing coming out the other oh. side, but it's fine because I'm going to be... Um, covering it anyway okay so that's that bit now we've got a few little garden implements which we can paint now before we carry on so that everything's ready so we have got a mold called garden tools she says i'm going to bring this over and change camera so you can see let's put the cake over there for a second so we've got a little chocolate mold called garden tools hold on i need to clear up the chaos that is surrounding me you'll see them on there if i move them there with a bit of added chocolate cake as well because obviously that happens to go absolutely everywhere let's put these out of the way before i lose them oh, don't forget to blow out the candle well i haven't finished painting yet oh, okay. so there we go that's better this is chocolate cake it's everywhere there we go so we've made we've got a little um garden tool mold there we go and um, what we've done is we've made is a little um fork there there's some secateurs there some sort of 
um, I think there may be hedge trimmers of some description and a little spade so in order to paint these and again you can paint them like a bit of a set so you don't have to paint them um, different you don't have to think your way through them so sort of red handles that kind of thing now I'm going to do what should we do Kelly um, I need a different brush is that brush two in there so that's one what's that one that's your zero that's two that's number two thank you very much what colour are you painting on? Do you need red? Red, no, I've got red. Okay. So, in fact, I've been using red because I've got red all over this brush. So, this is brush number two. And we're just going to dip that into the cocoa butter, pick up some red, just mix that. I'm just going to get rid of that rolling pin, but then I realise I needed it, so I won't. There we go. And you can create sort of matching handles with things like that. So these secretaires here, do you give red handled secretaires, do you think? You do so much gardening, Kelly. I'm, I'm always <laughs> in the garden. We're having red ones. I think we'll paint these red. So you can have red handled things here. So we'll do that. I know you're not gardener, are you? Mind you, neither am I particularly. So we'll paint these to match like a little set. So we have this mould, it's a plastic mould, it's not very expensive. Now we've got two in stock and we've got about another 20 coming tomorrow and then that's it. Um, I don't think we'll be getting any more because they're quite difficult to get a hold of. So um, it's not direly expensive. Now these have been made out of chocolate, that's why I'm painting them with cocoa butter. You can use sugar paste in one of these moulds if you particularly want to. Um, but you will need to use modelling paste. Please don't do it with sugar paste because you'll never get them out of the mould. And do you want to talk about, so someone asked, can you use colour splash gels? Not for painting, paint. no. We're using dusting colours for chocolate painting, not gels. Please don't use the gels for painting. Um, use dusts and cocoa butter. It's much easier. You get a much better effect. It dries much nicer. And certainly when you come to do chocolate, you can only do it with cocoa butter. So you're going to need to get some if you want to do this, make these out of chocolate. There we go. So we've got some little red handles on there. Let me just turn that round so I can see how I've got it all. There we go. I'll leave that for a second. And now, do we want these ones as well? I don't know how many I want on here, to be perfectly honest with you. I wanted three, really. I might get rid of that one and just do the spade. Let's do the spade on this. So this has got, this mould's got six, was it six little ornaments it on it, Kelly? Six ornaments. Six on little it. ornaments on it. So it's quite a nice little mould, all garden implements. And it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Let's turn it around that way more than anything else. And what we'll do is we'll just give it a red handle and then we'll paint them all silver. And I'm going to show you how you can get a really nice silver effect that's quite easy to do painting so I'm just holding this still at the moment stop it moving around but I don't want to hold it for too long because otherwise I'll start melting it you see right so that's that now we've done that one so we can move that one out of the way um, I'm going to clean our brush so mind you I've got the world's smallest bit of kitchen roll here I don't know how I manage that and there we go so we're just going to clean that now I have got pink secateurs, you're right, but they're not here. I've taken them back home again because that's where they tend to get used the most. Um, black, we got black. Right, so in order to make silver, um, it's a little shortcut here. So you're going to make some grey. So you're going to need black. Bring that down a little bit. Um, so dip your cocoa butter into the black and then grab some white. And then just make up a, like a pale grey colour. Oh, I hate it when this does this, moves it around. Drives me crazy. So a light silver colour. I'm not going to be able to see what colour I've achieved until I actually put it on there. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll then paint these secateurs with a little bit of grey. Down like so. I haven't actually painted these on a live yet. We've, yeah, we have. Well, we painted this one, but we haven't done these on a live. You painted the other ones, the other set of gardening tools. Yeah. There we go. So 
so we'll go around that side so you can paint these in advance, so you don't have to do this on the day that you're making your cake. You can get these all made up in advance. Just pop them in a box, ready to roll. Okay, so that's a nice sort of matte colour at the moment. We're going to leave that to dry and then we'll change it over to silver. And then let's take this again. Make sure I've got enough paint in there. And we'll come down this side with this and paint this mini trowel of some description. We're just going to kind of have these on the board and uh, we can put a bit of earth and things around it or we'll try and put one in a pot. We'll see how we go, see what it turns out like. We've got a messy bit to do yet. So as long as we've got our decorations ready, we'll be fine. Okay. So if you've got a little hole in your chocolate, just always grab hold of a bit of colour and push it in but you know I could put a bit of earth over that can't I as well so I'm not going to make that again no way <laughs> I've done it once I'm not doing it again so you can always work around it I'm just going to go around the side of this as well now actually what I'm going to do um let me grab a bit of kitchen roll because I'm going to need to pick it up I don't want to hold it with my hands because otherwise I'll melt it but I need to get down the side of this and the only way to do this is to pick it up and hold it but not with my hands so I'm just going to use some kitchen roll to do that paper towel whatever you want to call it and then I'll just do that like so we're nearly there You'll can find, people, sorry Kelly, yeah. People are just asking how do you look after these uh, chocolates? Like, do you put them in an air -like container? Um, the most important thing is you keep them away from light, heat and smell. Because chocolate will pick up um, the taste of anything it's around. So you want to try and um, keep it away from anything that's likely to be strong smelling. So I think it depends on how long you're going to keep them for. The problem with airtight plastic boxes, you can run into all sorts of difficulties with airtight things. Um, I often store a lot of stuff in two cake lids put together, don't I, Kelly? Mm. I do that a lot. So two cake lids and then pop your bits in there or maybe on a bit of kitchen roll or something and then just leave them in there. That tends to work quite well. I store a lot of my cookies and that in there. In between lives and things there we go right so what we're going to do now to make them like this is we have got this stuff here which is called finishing sparkle and then all I'm going to do is take hold of this I'm going to pop it on like that and then I'm just going to cover it like so and then I'm just going to take this sparkle and I'm just going to put it onto the end of those secateurs so that we end up with nice silvery looking secateurs hopefully you can see that sort of nice and glittery and again with this one now the only thing with this one is I've got just that little bit of handle to cover so what I'll do is I'll try and cover that bit there and then I'll put my glitter on like that that works quite well because the cocoa butter is a little bit uh, wet still it's sticking on quite nicely there we go so we've got some nice sparkly implements there garden tools uh, what I might do is I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on the handle of that fork thing or spade or whatever it is down the size where I picked it up. Tell how much gardening you do there, Mum. <laughs> that fork spadey fork thing. Spady thing. I know, don't tell my dad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to, because when I picked it up, I kind of took half the paint with it. So there we go. All right, so we can leave those to dry now. So we've got a nice little set here to go in our, our little display when we get that far. So we can move all that out the way. We've finished with the cocoa butter for the moment. We are going to have it back again, though, so we don't really forget to blow it out, Kelly. Oh, there's some more blossom cutters there. They're everywhere. Right. Okay, so we'll push that out of the way. And we'll bring the cake back in. Now we're going to do something drastic, which I don't know is a good idea or not, but we're going to do it anyway. 
Why don't you go this number right now? Well, because I need it again. Oh. I know, otherwise I would just get rid trowel. of it. Trowel. Hmm? The trowel. Really cool. That's the word we're looking for, isn't it? A trowel. Well, I'm just going to take my camera up a bit higher, otherwise you're right on top of it and that's no good. There we go. Right, okay, so Hydrangea itself has quite sort of big heads on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it out of cupcakes. That's the plan. Who made those? Made they look by delicious. Kelly. So we're going to actually I need the ganache back again, don't I? Let me just put that in the microwave. So we're going to attempt. <laughs> Let's just get the ganache going. We're going to put this sort of hydrangea type arrangement on the top so we've got some bulk going on here so I've got five I don't know whether that's enough oh you didn't remember uh, don't try and blame me this time don't let me forget that ganache is in the microwave because I honestly right here we go um palette knife yep no that's got royal icing on it let's get another one Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some ganache on top of this and we're going to put these on top. Now we're going to really squidge this down. Would it be easier to ganache them flat? No, because I'm going to ganache them as a bulk. Okay. All in one go. Okay, so we're going to set them sideways. I've done this once before years ago, but it's been a while. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm sure in a minute I will be changing everything around, but that's okay. Let's put that there. Like that. That turntable table is spinning. It's driving me crazy. Right, so we've got the front there. I want to make sure I've got the best view at the front here. So I'm going to just move that one over like so it doesn't even matter if they break up a little bit to be perfectly honest what we want is a kind of shape there we go something like that because that then gives us we can even make them a little bit sort of higher and lower as well there we go like so lovely cupcakes kelly yes <laughs> it's the kelly man show isn't it tonight hey <laughs> right let's bring this over here and what we'll do is we're going to ganache those now which camera are we on that one right so i'm going to just put this back in the microwave because i do want this to be a little bit softer because it's too stiff at the moment it will drive us crazy so that's going to be our hydrangea on the front there probably do need six but on the basis that we haven't got six we're going to be using five <laughs> we didn't know we put five is fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to put ganache over this and kind of so it all holds together as one so we're literally just going to make a bit of a mess and just glue them all together so we're going to cover them up like so and it doesn't matter how much mess you make what we're trying to do is just glue them together would you say it's easier to make the ganache a little bit more glue people though yes are you asking me that question yeah yes i am going to tell you that's the answer kelly leave them in the microwave a little bit longer and that's fine <laughs> did kelly eat one of the cupcakes is that's why they're only five the no i didn't <laughs> No. I've been good. We, you're not even going to notice. It will be fine. What we want is a nice view at the front, and that's what we're going to have. So we're going to glue all this together, like so. So put loads of ganache on. Could have done with one more Kelly, but it's not the end of the world, I think. There's one over here if you want it. No, nah, it's fine. No? No. I'll stick with this one. Everyone's going to think I ate it. Well, <laughs> how much are you going to pay me to, t to defend you, Kelly? I didn't eat it. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's the front. 
just realised some bee king is doing out. Let's move that over a bit. There we go. Okay, keep going. So I'll do a bit more ganache on. So we're getting this kind of um, mixed height thing going on on cupcakes, much better on the cake, much better than using, say, great big chunks of sugar paste that never get eaten. Let's use cake instead. And then we haven't had to cut them out or do anything strange either. They're nice round shapes, which is what hydrangea tends to be. Let me just push that one in a little bit further so we don't have the gap. And as the ganache starts to get set, then just um, go and put it back in the microwave. And it's actually okay at the moment. It seems to be okay. Let's try and get it underneath as well, because we don't want to see anything dark particularly. That's what we're trying to do is kind of cover up. All the dark chocolate and you could do this in vanilla you don't have to do this like I'm doing it it's just that we happen to grab chocolate cakes on the way out the door so or rather I did so there you go we'll come back in a bit so you can see I've gone off the table a little bit now if we're quick we might be able to get these stuck on with um, the ganache however I think by the time we get around the other side we won't be able to so we're going to change over to royal icing in a second I just want to make sure I've got all my cakes covered so they're sealed underneath nothing's going to dry out so it's probably worth spending a bit of time just getting the ganache on as carefully as you can without getting it all over your lovely cake that you've done and so that it's set there we go you can see what's going on here okay like so actually we didn't need one in the middle I think we're going to be okay but we've still maintained our shape a little bit so that's what we want because we want to be able to see some sort of hydrangea type heads on here I'm gonna to have to go and play hunt the leaf cutter in a minute although I might have one in my pot actually let's have a little look let's see what we've got in my infamous pot nope <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay that's fine that's code for Kelly that's code for look in the pot. Kelly you might have to go looking for the pot please in a second right okay let's move this over Kelly go through. I want the large leaf cutter if you can find it Kelly for me please. Oh God, don't I turned it round so <laughs> she's going past. <laughs> I've seen better days. <laughs> My store's down there you see so I have to send Kelly down there. Right large. Large leaf. It should be in the little pots if you can find one. I found the leaf pot there. Is there any large leaves in there? Uh, this is the largest leaf I have. Oh yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, let's do that one. I've got to clean up that royal icing because it's doing me, driving me crazy. <laughs> Here she comes again. I'm going to leave the camera on for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's she like, honestly? Right, here we go. Right, so we have our topper on. That's good. Let's leave that in there. Now, you've kind of got a choice at this point. You could just put a little bit of sugar paste over the top. Now I quite like that idea because then if you put a bit of green over the top of it, then you've covered it and then any little gaps that come through will be green, which is the base color underneath. And we'll use the leaf cutter to do some leaves later on. Let's just move that over there. Just try and remain, remain tidy here. Okay. Okay, tidy, tidy. Um, where's my green gone? So let's put some of that green on over the top. And then that will create a, a base. So if there's any little gaps, you're going to see green coming through. And we'll do the same green that we did on the board. So we'll do 
do that there. Sorry, this raw lighting's driving me crazy tonight. It's leaking. There we go. That's better. Happy with that. So we'll put some icing sugar down, we don't need a huge amount, but we'll just put enough on to kind of put over the top and tuck it down. So we will definitely need our royal icing to put this together. So back on rolling out again. Let's change camera for a second. Oops, put my arm in it then. So we don't need this to be massive. Everyone say you should look at the state of us on this side. <laughs> She's, we're always running through, aren't you, Cal? Mm. Right, now what I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to put this over the top. I'm just going to kind of tuck it in as best I can. Now, if I've got extra, hopefully it will just tuck straight under. But if it doesn't, I'm going to cut it. I don't think I'm far out, actually, looking at this. A little heavy on this side but I want to just tuck that under there so that it gives the impression there's green underneath this it'll look more better when I put all the um, flowers on it's got to go through the ugly stage at the moment let me sit down for a second um, right I'm just gonna cut this little bit off here because I don't want that bit there it's too much and then everything else, I'm just going to tuck under there, like so. And then I can just put my hands on it, because again, it doesn't really matter what that looks like. So it looks horrendous at the moment, but that is fine. It doesn't matter. What we want is our shape. So you can get your hands in there and you can manipulate those cupcakes to be the shape you want them to be. Where's the front of my cake? Tuck that sugar paste under. There we go, like that. This royal icing is leaking and we are definitely going to be putting some mud around the bottom of this pot. A hundred percent. Right, okay, there we go. Um, right, royal icing. I've got to think about this for a second, haven't I? Let's get some royal icing on the go. So let's find some nozzles. Let's use we only need one that's going to put some icing down, so let's go for a fairly big one. So this is my little pot that has absolutely everything in it that I need on a live, except leaf everything cutters, <laughs> so need. everything I actually need. It is working a little bit better actually to have it all in a pot, because then I stand more chance of actually being able to find it. Right, let's grab a piping bag. Hold on. There we go, and we're going to use nozzle 43, which is impossible to find at the moment, so you won't be getting one of those. Um, any nozzle, actually, to be honest, that's just going to put a little bit of icing on there for you. Now, I hope I've made enough of these hydrangeas, or I will be making more in a minute. Um, royal icing, right, let's get that back. It's next to my Star Wars cake. Right. this down so we're going to just use this to glue our um, glue the hydrangea on nothing more complicated than that so I'll pop that in there probably need a fair amount because I'm going to be putting a bit of icing behind them all so we'll put extra royal icing in there there we go like so all right let me bring my chair in a bit Let's bring these over. Hold on, let's move them out of the way so I don't end up burning myself. Right, let's bring these over. You can cut some of those out if you want to now. Did you want to show the full sheet first? Or? Uh, well, no, we'll carry on for the minute. Sure. Yeah, I don't know which ones I want, though. You but choose. Don't you want to show the whole sheet? OK, we're going to show you the whole sheet. So we're going to be using this sheet tonight to put butterflies on the end of this, because obviously hydrangea and butterflies are synonymous. And this is called Realistic Butterflies. And they're on wafer paper. Um, and I'm going to get Kelly to cut some of these out because I want it to be kind of as real as it possibly can be. Um, these are lovely, but once we've got the hydrangeas on, we'll come back to these. So I'm going to just point Kelly in the direction of cutting out. Well, I definitely want, want this one? Red Admiral. That one. 
and those are the two kind of classics those two probably yeah I don't know I definitely <laughs> just, that. just whatever will look fine okay here we go so we're going to start putting this together now so I'm going to take hold of my hydrangea and I'm just going to put a blob of icing on the back and we're going to start to build it now this is the front so let's make sure we get a decent view of this as we go and we're going to put these on so I don't know if I've done enough but we're going to find out so we're going to mix the colours up as we go turn it around so you can see it so you want them to be close to each other like that there we go it's starting to improve now already and mix your colours up so remember we did sort of four different shades and we're going to put some leaves on as well in fact we might do those as we go let me just get the leaf thing ready because they're easier to tuck in than they are there you go like so so if I wanted to put a leaf in at any point I can take my plunger cutter so I've got one of these PME plunger cutters press that down and get myself a leaf now we can't have any flat leaves because that's banned so we put a little twist on them put some sugar paste down the back and we can just kind of pop that in there like so except it's got a bit of chocolate on it of course it has and then we can put our uh, hydrangea over the top of that like so so you can kind of tuck some leaves in as you go with this can I ask you to cut off the end can I? yes okay right let's do another one make sure you press them down so you actually get a a bit of a leaf going a leaf pattern so I'll put another one in here sticking out there is that bit right where's the front yeah that's fine and then that down there we'll go this way now towards the front Now if you run out, which I'm looking at mine and thinking, not sure, it's going to be quite tight, you can always make a few more. I'll be over in a second. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, it's tight. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to roll out a little bit more green so I can make some more leaves as I go because I don't want any gaps. So when the, you do the green underneath, for example, if I look in that little hole there, I don't want to put a leaf, but I can see green. I don't want to be able to see white chocolate ganache. And then it means it's kind of got that look of greenery going on underneath it and it matches the board, you see. So that's all lovely. Right. And again, if we get any mega gaps, we can always use our butterflies, can't we? So I'm not going to be worried too much about it. So I'll put another little leaf in, sort of there. And we'll hang them down over the pots a little bit. I don't think it's the most realistic leaf for a hydrangea, but it's just to give the impression we're not being too... You can always dust them with some darker green. You can dust and paint them. To make depth. Do all sorts of things, can't you? Okay, let's carry on. Right, so we'll pop them in there like so. Just keep mixing your colours up. So once you've made them, you can pretty much let me turn that round so you can see it. There you go, you can see what's happening. I was trying to get at least the front done so that it's got so in case I run out. If I run out, I'll have to make a few more. And then we'll head up that way. So her. what would you say the um, price of a cake like this would be? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It 
depends how long it takes you to do it, doesn't it? I mean, it's going to take me, if I hadn't done the hydrangea in advance, maybe three hours. So I'd, I'd be charging a good £100 for it, definitely. Definitely. It's not a huge cake, though, but, you know, there's loads of work involved. So, you know... There we go, right, we're heading over the back of this now. I'm spreading them out a little bit, just so that we actually get the impression of a finished cake. <laughs> Let's go this way. I'm sticking them on with royal icing, that's what I'm using. So, Sorry, I'm trying to regulate the chat. Royal icing is uh, made with, well, I've made it, with whipping it up. Only I put too much around the base tonight, so it keeps leaking, but it doesn't matter. We're going to resolve that later on. How many butterflies did you make? Oh, not many, only like three or so. Okay, I got three. Because they're quite big, because I wanted them to be big. That's fine, you can just leave Oops. them there. Did you go for my favourite one? I don't know. Well, it's the Red Admiral I wanted. I don't know what butterflies are. Okay. Did you want me to make more flowers? Um, potentially. I'm going to see if I get to the halfway mark and then have a look what I've got left. You might be able to assess it better than me when you're standing. What do you think? Mm. It's tight, isn't it? Yeah. I think potentially, yeah, you might need to make some. Do you want to go and do it around there or are you going to do it there? Oh, that's a good idea. There's a little gap there. Why do you get caught up in the lights over there? You can do it there if, you, if I can give you a little space. Nah, I'll do it over there. There's more room over there. All right. Okay. Kelly's going to make us some extra hydrangea. Can I are you going to cook this? Yeah, I'll take the little rolling pin. You've got the little one. It's in your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> Do you need Tylos, tylos powder in sugar paste? Ty tylos. tylos. You can use Tylos powder if you want to. That works okay. You're not going to fall over the lights or the camera, are you? No, that's a really bad idea. Well, do it over on my desk. Over there. Move no, the do it on my desk. Do it on your desk. All right. And don't forget to dry them upside down. Yeah. Just like I demonstrated, Kelly. <laughs> this is the real test. Have I been paying attention? Or you make a load and then I get to the end of it and go, no, I'm all right, I don't need them, Kelly. <laughs> um, you can put Tylos powder in your sugar paste. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm, I haven't got any Tylos powder in here, to be honest. I'm just about managing to get away with it. If you work fairly quickly, you'll get away with it. I need the cut. <laughs> it's there. I should have counted how many I've done, really, shouldn't I? That would have helped. You got the icing sugar, Kelly? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you need it? No, I'm just saying you will need it if you're doing that. So it looks coming on all right. I've still got loads at the minute. I'm just a bit unsure if I've got enough to do it. And don't make them too thick, Kelly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm under pressure. <laughs> oh, Kelly. didn't realise it was going to have to be this interactive, you see. I even mentioned this cutter a couple of days ago, didn't I? What's that? I've got trauma with this cutter. Why? Uh, it, don't it's press too hard because it'll get stuck. Has it got stuck? <laughs> no, I just feel very apathetic. Well, it doesn't matter. I can always finish them off, Kelly. Pinch if, the ends, right? If need be. Just pinch the centre and turn it upside pinch down. Pinch the centre? Yeah, come and have a look at what I've done. And then turn them upside down. So you pick them up and turn them upside down. Okay. If you can't do them, I'll do them. You can go back on comments if you want to. No, I'm doing this as well. Right, I'm missing all the comments at the moment because I've... Oh, no, I'm reading them. Oh, well, Kelly's reading them at the same time. I've got the thingy up next to See, now it's improving, you see. It did look like a bit of a mess at one point, but we're okay now. We're getting there. We're coming across it now. It's quite big, though, actually. Let's have a little look. Yeah, even if we can get the front half done, then we can always finish the back later. I don't know, we're getting there. Put a few more leaves in. Let's cut out a few more leaves, shall we, as we go. Right. Oh, she's left me the big rolling pin. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't know what you might. I don't know why. Is it because I have nails? Probably, yeah. Bring up the 
bring them over here and I'll finish it, Kelly. It's not a problem. We can do a few more. I'll tell you. You'll bring them back here. You can go back on comments and stick to your colour theory. Sorry. <laughs> stick to your colour theory. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's keep going. Well, I'm just going to put them all on, Kelly, and then what, okay. I'll, what I'll do then is we'll see what we need to do at the end. We can always add a few more. Thank you. I did try. Okay, that's all right. There we go. Oh, that's upside down. And then we'll go back onto leaves. Another leaf in up there. Oh, getting round it actually, we might be okay. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be that many short if we are short at all. So, I mean, it's not the world's prettiest of cakes when you're putting it together because of all the messy sugar paste underneath, but I think it looks really good. It's coming. Thank you, Kelly. So, just want to cover this rubbishy bit up down here, really. See how we're getting there. So, anybody who likes gardening, this is for really, isn't it? Anybody who would appreciate. And a hydrangea is a really nice flower, I think it is anyway. It's a really nice one. You could try piping these flowers, could you? You could, you know, well, yeah, you would just do it with a nifty nozzle, wouldn't you? If you wanted to do a plant pot cake, you could use your nifty nozzles. Everyone thinks it's great and fabulous. Oh, I think it is quite... Fan bloody tabulous. Oh, you see? I think that is quite lovely, actually, isn't it? I think sometimes you surprise yourself. I do. I have these ideas and I go, yeah, I'm going to do that live. And then I draw it on a piece of paper very badly. I show Kelly and I'm going to do this and she looks at me like I'm mad because I don't know how it's going Sometimes to Sometimes I have no idea what you're trying to do and I'm just like, looks great. Yeah, she goes along with it and then it, it usually turns out all right. So I'm just stopping this royal icing from still leaking out from the bottom. I think I put way too much royal icing underneath this. Right, let's keep going. So remember to mix your colours. That's the most important thing with this cake. Otherwise you won't get this effect. You'll get a very flat effect. So it's really important. That you remember to mix your colours. Whoops, I remember to put some more light. You can dust them as well. Yeah. Well, the middles of these are actually, are they limey green or yellow? I can't. No idea. Can you Google it quickly? I can't. What's the name of them? So I'll put in um, lilac oh, hydrangea. And you'll see it come up because I meant to look this afternoon, I forgot. They're more, no, they're just like paler versions. Some of them are like very pale green in the middle, but some of them are just like lighter versions of pink or like lighter versions of purple. The ones I saw, I'm sure, were Yeah, some of them do have like bright green centres, but some of them have just purple centres. Right. I guess it what depends I'm saying on if... the acidity of your soil. Oh, God, she's off again. <laughs> so I'm just saying if you were going to paint these, then we could paint them with... Spring green. Good, yeah. Spring green and white. Yeah. Oh, spring green on its own is too too strong. Even mix a bit of primrose in there, you know. Yeah, you could put, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to be okay, actually. I think we're just about going to have enough. Literally by the skin of my teeth, I think, this one. Maybe one or two short, but... Oh. I couldn't even make one or Not two. Not bad. My nails kept breaking. Is that what was going on? Was it over there? Yeah. Let's put another leaf in just to fill a gap or two. So you can pack these in as much as you like, or you can leave gaps. They tend to be quite full, don't they? So you want to try and pack them in if you can. There we go. Oh, let me drop that one. I can't afford to drop one. <laughs> I'm sure. There we go. I haven't looked over on the top of it yet. I'm just trying to cover the whole thing and then I'll go back and have a little look and see what we're doing in terms of visuals that way. But I think I've managed to do enough. Oh, my goodness me. 
I could not have timed that any better, I don't think. What was, where can you get the flower cutter? I would imagine Sugar and Crumbs have got the flower cutter. It's a hydrangea blossom sugar art cutter. Um, I can try and get some if, if you're struggling, but I you should be able to pick it up. It's not too difficult to find. I've used blossom leaf, which is patchwork cutter, to do the painting. I've used um, PME leaf cutter to do the leaves. Have worked out very nicely to cover up my gaps. Stick another one in. Mm -mm -mm. Stuck another one in up there. So I think I'm down to literally about ten of these. Just whack some leaves in there. Honestly, no, I think I've done it, Kelly. I think I've Yay! literally got it down to the wire. I know, unbelievable looking at it earlier I thought we were going to be in trouble but actually I think we're going to be okay I'm going to breathe a sigh of relief in a minute how are we doing on time yeah we're okay so I'm going to run over a little bit right Okay, so that's it all covered. Now I've got a few left, so if I wanted to, I'm now going to just inspect the top and see what's going on. So there's a little gap there, so we put one in there. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. There's another gap there. You there. Add some more leaves and, some more leaves. and you can add some more leaves, but actually a few extra flowers on the top actually does add to the height a little bit as well. And, it, are you, and it's kind of very up and down, which is what we want. But yeah, that's pretty much. Let me just see. Yeah, that is it. Down to the very, very last one that I cut out. I can't believe it, actually. That's unbelievable. That never happens. Right, okay. So we've done that bit. Now, I was going to look at painting the middles. What do you think? I think it probably spoil it, actually. I think yeah, I think we'll leave it as it is. Um, let's have a look at doing the earth. Now, what did I do with that? Right, so we've got some Oreos here. Lady Gaga Oreos. Lady Gaga Oreos from the supermarket. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of earth round the bottom, just by the trowel. We're not going to put any in there, I don't think. No. I think that might be... Well, we could put a little... No. No, you don't want to. Okay, right, we won't do that then. We're following Kelly's instructions here. Right, I've got to get this out now. We've not ripped the bag and I put it in another. No, bag. I don't want to rip the bag because it'll end up everywhere. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay, here we go. Actually, we didn't. Well, we smashed a bit of these down here, didn't we? We've got that. Oh, there's the small rolling pin. So I've got a little bag of Oreos here. I'm just going to squash them down a little bit. Because Oreos makes really good colour mud. So um, does. Um... Bourbon biscuits as well. Bourbon biscuits, there you go, is another option for you there. I don't really... Lady Gaga Oreos are just normal Oreos. It's just at the moment all the Oreos are branded with Lady Gaga. They are. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of royal icing down there. I'm going to take my paintbrush that was in the water and I'm just going to spread that down here a little bit just so I can put some earth on there. Just a little bit. I don't want to put down too much because I don't really want to draw too much attention away from um, the top. Okay, so I'll just put a little bit on. It's just to go with my my trowel and my fork. Oh no, everyone's asking. The Lady Gaga Oreos, they're just normal Oreos. Yeah, they've got Lady Gaga. But they've got Lady Gaga written on them. It's just because in America she has her own ones, but they're like green and pink on the inside. But because we're in England, we can't have pink and green Oreos. So we just, the, the normal Oreo packets just have Lady Gaga written on them. So what I wanted to do there was just create like a little bit of spill with the earth. We don't need it on the other side, do we? Only no, on one just side. a little highlight of earth. And then we've got our trowel and our spade. You've offset it as well. You could always put their name on there rather than on the pot. Yeah, you could do is what I mean. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these down here. Well, I'm just going to put a little bit of royal icing on the back of these like that. And then you can leave these next to the oh. pot. 
pot. You like that, Kelly, do you? I do. And we could put... Why don't you lean... Yeah, lean one up against. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, the spade, like, in the mud. In put, the... And then put some mud around the spade. She's getting advanced now. <laughs> I tell you, she's going to have her own life before much longer, aren't you? Yeah. So we'll put that... <laughs> And also she doesn't realise that things defy gravity in cake world, so we have to think about this a bit more Would carefully. Would you cover the bottom, like, in icing? It doesn't matter if there's a little mound, does it? So we'll you put, just cover it we'll in put that like that, just for Kelly. Yeah, and then put some mud around I'm it. I'm going to put some more mud around it, just for you. All right. Kelly the designer, she's taken over, hasn't she? Yeah. Okay, then we'll put some more Oreo on here, which goes absolutely everywhere. Which is why we leave it till last because otherwise it's just oh goodness horrendous could be right up there with glitter i think okay so we'll put that in there see that looks like fun doesn't it is that coming out okay let's stick that around there a bit further i don't really want it all over the place though trying to control where it's going is a joke really <laughs> oh, oreos are a nightmare <laughs> right Okay, just really wanted a little muddy patch on one side. I want it spread all over the place. And then we could put that like that, couldn't we, Kelly? We could cross those over, look. What do you think? Sorry, Kelly sorry. construction? Yeah. That was convincing. Well, I'm not too sure. No. I don't think necessarily it needs it. No, I don't either. No, don't put it on. I don't, don't think it needs that one. We'll leave that one I'll on. I'll leave that one. You will leave that one. Okay, well, I'd like to keep that for another live if we can. Okay, just looking at that piece there. Right, okay, so we've got that far. Now let's get rid of the Oreos because they're going to end up absolutely everywhere otherwise. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done those yet. I'm just pushing the earth into your spade so it doesn't end up falling over. Make sure it doesn't go. So put plenty of royal icing on it. Um, you don't have to be too neat with the kind of earth bit. You can just kind of let it do its own thing, really. Right, okay. Um, ribbon. Ha, ha, ha. Did I clean that up? Probably. All right, let me go and get it. What colour? Pearl. Pardon? Pearl. Oh, I've got green. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, God, now we've got to find the print stick. That's even more of a challenge these days. Oh, no, there it is. I can see it. Isn't it in the pot? Yeah, it's in my pot, you see. It's in my fail-safe pot. Right. Okay, so we'll put some ribbon on, then we'll put the butterflies on. I just wanted to make sure that hadn't come off the side. No, it's fine. So we just use a bit of Pritt stick round the edge of the board. Like so. Go round twice. So I've got a bit of green ribbon, a nice sagey green colour. Actually covered in Oreos now. They go everywhere, don't they? Right, and then we <laughs> see it all in the background. What? It's all on the rolling. <laughs> I know it is. That's what I'm saying. It's everywhere, but that's fine. We're going to switch cameras in a minute. Yeah, it always just looks like a total mess in here. I'm afraid. Let's just get rid of that and that because it is. We've got into a pickle, Kelly. There we go. Let's turn that round. Okay, right, there we go, we've got to that point. Now, we're gonna put the butterflies on. Just move that there, because that's annoying me. Um, where's my butterflies, Miss Kelly? Okay, so we have got, that's fine, just put them down. We have got a new sheet of wafer paper butterflies, and this one is called Realistic Butterflies. And I like it because it's realistic, it's as simple as that, and they're on wafer paper. Um, and we've got them on sheet. So what we're going to do, we're going to do realistic ones. So because they're wafer paper, you can very carefully manipulate them so they stand. I just get hold of, actually I need to change the nozzle here because this one's too big. What have we got in here? Every nozzle except the one I want, I suspect. What's that one? That's a little bit better. Let's say this one's a bit too chunky. Let's just switch it down a bit. Just, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just a pipe on the back here. So we're going to put some realistic butterflies on this. Now, where's the front of this cake? Am I probably going to go off camera a second? Hold on. Let's come back on a minute. Let me just raise this up a little bit. Um, 
hopefully you can see my mess from a much better angle up there. <laughs> Just altering my camera. Oh no, look at the mess. The dreaded Oreos are everywhere. Right, and then what we'll do is we'll put one on there. So it's got a bit of royal icing on it, so it should stick okay. Can you see that there? Like that. And then we'll put another one. Just very carefully bend it. Put some royal icing on the back. So we'll put three on. But I wanted the realistic butterflies rather than sort of... There we go. And butterflies are really associated, aren't they, with all this um hydrangea gardening God, well hydrangea particularly this one they love this one and then we'll put a bit more on the back there so just a little bit of royal icing and then we'll pop that one on you could even put one on the board if you wanted to didn't you mm -hmm. Don't worry. i think it might be too much no no board. it's too much i'm not going to do that now but there we go okay perfect there we go <laughs> Another garden themed cake or a garden themed cake, I should say. Right, let's move this back a little bit so you can see it properly. There you go. So we have got, don't forget that base part there was made with cupcakes. So that's how we did that. So we covered it with some green and then we put all our hydrangea on top that we'd pre-made that. If I turn it round, you'll be able to see we then painted the little pot. We made some garden tools. These are made out of chocolate and they have been painted with cocoa butter. So they're all now set. Let's turn it round so you can have a little look. You could put a butterfly on wire if you want to. I wanted the realistic ones for this. For me, this was about trying to be as authentic as we could with this. So that's why we've got these um, more realistic looking butterflies. There we go. You could put ladybird on there. Yeah, good one. Anything like that really. I haven't painted around the back of the pot, remember that, because I didn't feel that we had time to do that. But there's all sorts of different things that you could do on here. So you could make more of the pot if you wanted to by carrying on painting it forever and a day. There you go. But it's a hydrangea. And just remember as well, don't have it flat. These cupcakes are different heights and it just make it stand out and a little bit more circular, which is what hydrangea is. Um, so it's really important that you space them out like that. All right. So as usual, I'll pop this on my Instagram. So when I have taken a photograph of it, I'll put my Instagram up there now, which is at Tracy Man Cakes. Um, I will also put it on um, Sugar and Crumbs with uh, Sugar and Crumbs Cake Community. It will be up there. And then the video will stay on Sugar and Crumbs for you to watch back. But I'll also put it onto my YouTube channel as well, which I do every week. Um, my YouTube channel looks incredibly similar to my Instagram name. <laughs> So if you want to go and have a look at any of my videos on there, then you're very welcome to pop over and have a look as well. Right. OK. Where have we got to? There I am. <laughs> now I attempt the usual bit of picking it up, which is always the fun part, isn't it? Because I don't want it to fall apart. Let me see what I can do. It's not too bad. It's all right. I just don't want the spade to fall off because the spade might fall off. There we go. All right. Let's turn it round that way so follow it round there you go okay so there you go that's today's live the lovely butterflies on top <laughs> all right so we've done that from scratch i'm going to put it down though it's mainly the spade i'm worried about i'm not worried about anything else it's just that spade part but we'll take a photo and you'll be able to see it up close anyway so we'll do all that for you so thank you very much for joining us this evening on sugar and crumbs um i will be back on thursday morning at half past 11 most likely with some painting of some description that's what i'm normally doing on thursdays and if you do work during the day and you've missed it then you are able to go back and watch it on sugar and crumbs um, the videos stay on here so you can go back and i put them onto my youtube channel as well so you won't miss out if you're back at work we're still here and we're still providing all this entertainment for you so enjoy if you are interested in any of the uh, some of the items i've shown you my website's up there and if you're interested in classes you do need to go to a slightly different website but it is um linked between the two so if you do want to go to traceskates.co.uk there is a link through to the school website as well which teaches you all about cake painting and royal icing and all these lovely things as well so thank you very much kelly thank you everyone oh yeah to kelly's class as well the color oh, theory yes. class yes you forgot about that didn't you yeah, I did. <laughs> so kelly's color theory class is next monday at 
Six thirty. Six thirty till eight. Till eight. I'll be teaching you how to mix colours, how to brighten colours, warm colours, make them cooler, how to understand the colour wheel. Um, but the bottom line is, I'm on comments that night. Let's yeah. put it another way. So I've been demoted completely. <laughs> And Kelly's and it's in charge. Only seven pound fifty. Yeah, seven pound fifty. All proceeds go to Kelly's travels. Yes. John. Yeah. <laughs> that face. I have to pull that face because I don't want her to leave home ever, as any normal parent. But there you go. So yes, I'll be around. Um, so I'm back again, half past eleven on Thursday morning on Sugar and Crumbs. Take photos of all this, and you'll be able to see it later on. So if you've missed out, um, then do go back to um. It and watch again we have run over a little bit tonight haven't we okay mm -hmm. we're fine right have a lovely evening everyone take care we'll see you all soon bye for now oh bye i've got to sing it haven't i yeah, <laughs> yeah bye <laughs>